How's it going, pumpkin heads? My name is Skellington Steve, and welcome back to Valhalla. So, in the last episode, we met a brain in a jar robot type thing, and he was hitting on our friend Alma. And now we're coming back from break, having spent said break with said Alma. So, let's see what's going on here. Cold, cold, cold. Apparently, it's cold outside. All right. Every time I forget how people's how people sound. Uh, shit. Uh, it sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently, he got into some legal trouble, and that's why he's like that. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. So, are you gonna tell me? What? Why did you stop having one night stands and all that? Oh, right. We're still on this conversation. Okay. I started working here. I don't know. After I started working here, I felt like I didn't need to do that anymore. Maybe I was just lonely? Aw, how cute. I also got fed up with everyone complaining about me smoking on the bed. You're gonna burn the bed with that. Yeah, yeah. If you ever need a hug, just let me know. You don't need one night stands for that. You left me thinking, though. What's your... thing? Your fetish? You strike me to, as the kind to have an overpower fetish of sorts. You want to feel totally swayed by someone, have consensual yet forceful sex with your partner. Wow, we are getting into some stuff. Also, I'm still upset that there's no... I was promised a common writer on the TV, and there is no common writer, but I will settle for Lucha Underground. Did I hit the bullseye? You have quite the imagination, girl. Oh god, no! Why is she back? Okay, this is happening now. So now we got Alma and Dorothy. So things are gonna get even more sexual and awkward. Cause why not? Oh god, I think she had like a really high-pitched voice, but it's too close to Alma's, but... Screw it, here we go. <clears throat> Honey, some surface here. I'm here, don't scream. Oh ho, were you two hanging out at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? Um, you know what? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually. I'm gonna say yes, but, uh, yeah, I do dislike your presence that much. Me physically in the meat space dislikes your presence. I'm not sure exactly what Jill thinks of you. Sweet non-alcoholic, you say. Alright. Uh, flavor, sweet, sugar rush... A sugar rush. I'll make her a big sugar rush. Two, three, four, one, two. Optional. Carmatrine. All mixed. Actually, you know what? Let me reset that. Because she said she also wants something soft. If that's a thing. 
Ah, there we go. Sweet, girly, and soft. And it uh, has optional carbatrine, so I don't need to make it alcoholic. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two. Aged and mixed and stop there. One big blue fairy. Shut your fucking mouth. Here, like you asked. See, you don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Yeah, vending machines just, like, you know, not say shit to you and let give you what you want and you fucking leave. Can you, can you fucking leave now? Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Lawrence? A oh, friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lovely, and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma, the pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep, why? Nothing, I, j I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me! Oh god, I want to kill her so badly. Mostly about your... Uh... Luckiness. Thank you. See that face? This face right here. This face that this woman has right here. This... Summarizes my feelings about this. This... Is this. This means... This needs to fuck off. And here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says that, I, that that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? Oh, I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know till you try, right? Last time I said I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb up. Okay. Uh. I read that weird, and then I read the entire thing by eye, and now I'm regretting the fact that I did. Apparently it was a success. <clears throat> okay then, let me try to explain in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. Alright. First, I do some research on the target. OS, servers, how the information is stored, and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers to fi I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploit, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. Ah, I see. Then when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack the into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. B buff? Well, what happens next? What happens next? 
I create a back door in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I can't... I can't handle it anymore. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. Hack me, daddy. She once hacked so hard. Uh huh? Okay, well. She she's gone. We've lost her. Yeah, nah. Sorry, I got carried away. A little bit. <clears throat> no shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like a... Like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilla marks are an unexploited market. I see. Oh, looks like my ride's here. Your ride? Yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happened he got married to my sister. Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? Uh, yeah, can you please get her the fuck out of my bar, please? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay! I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems noisy. Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Oh. Alright, this guy is getting the, uh, the Gaga voice. Because... Wait, I'm not even... What? You know what? I don't you know what. This character. This character is getting the Gaga voice. Mainly because I'm confused as to what exactly it identifies as. So, <clears throat> such a small yet comfortable place. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of a suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. Uh, what do you have then? Seventeen. Eh, uh, excuse me? I said seventeen. Seven plus ten. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Uh, just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. 17. We'll go ahead and say they mean number 17 on the list. So let's go, to, let's go from number one, number 17. So a piano man, and we'll make it a big one because he's being an asshole about it. Actually, I don't think I can. Nah, this is, has 18 ingredients in it. I don't think I can make it big. So two Adelhyde, three Bronson extract, five powdered Delta, five Flanner guide, and three Carmatrine. 
on the rocks and mixed and stop and take it 17 how is this a 17 it isn't you said 17 would only be related to your drink if I thought it was and I think it isn't Ooh, you subverted my expectations by taking me literally sneaky and what brings you here, Mr. I'm Armandillo. Ver that I'm. You know what? I'm just gonna call him Vergie. I'm gonna call him Vergie because I don't know how the fuck to say that name. I'm gonna call him Vergie. Oh Jesus Christ! See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Right. I ca and I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and I saw this place, and is this place is called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the s wounded spirits of normal souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. Uh, we have some arcade machines in the corner. No, no, you're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today has been quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been in the streets, though. Humans are a nasty bunch, that much is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other, but it's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. I'm... oh. <clears throat> Whoa. Anyway. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh yeah? Then give me a better non-zoologist bar- Oh. Ha. <laughs> then give me an example, non-zoologist -zo bartender. Like I said, I don't know exact details, I just know that isn't right. If every serves me right, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from another lion is killed or something. <laughs> takes over a pride. You can't take over a pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up, not zoologist bartender. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine? No, and Chloe is a name, not a number, you know. The group where halogens are in the periodic table. Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. Okay then, I give up. Seventeen is us. Ah. Every human has seventeen pairs of chromosomes. That number is a whole foundation of you and me. It's 23. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. Primal? Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. Okay. He wants plum, floating, perfume, a uh, son of a bitch. Ah, uh, you fucking gah, come on. He's a- he wants the goddamn fedora- here. Take your fucking fedora. 
Haha, <laughs> you did. Wait, you did. Enjoy. I will. I will drink this, um, perfume. You don't really have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender, have you ever thought about death? I thought about killing you. Like, as soon as you started spouting off nonsense about knowing things and not actually knowing things. How? What if we're already dead? Both of us. What? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this is real that this reality is real and we're not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in his room? Uh first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and probably say that's fucking meta as fuck, yo. could punch you to make you feel reality. Oh, there we go, yeah. I could punch you to make you feel reality. <clears throat> I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. I hit the button again. You'll never reach such an reach enlightenment if you don't start. Okay. The habanera has started. It means the twilight of the gods in German, by the way. I'm not sure if that's actually what it means. I'm pretty damn sure that's not what that means. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. Uh, what? Okay, no, seriously, though, what the fuck's going on out there? Uh, a couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a sec. What? Oh shit. About five gigabytes of reports proving that several white knight squads have been used to cover illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counter-terrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the Vice President. We're still waiting for declaration from the Zaibatsu Corp CEO on the subject, but until then... Things are ugly in and outside of that bank, it seems. I recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar is quite the security system. I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. Yeah, I guess I'll stay tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. You mind sleeping in my office? Nah, I guess it's fine. Good. Let's hope everything is solved by, mo by the morning. I'll have Zen Kanto on hand just in case. The metal bat with nails? There's nothing it can't bash. <laughs> Say, Gil, or Hope everything's better by tomorrow. Alright, well, I guess we're done. Wow, we got a $300 bonus because we have to stay in bed. Wait. What the fuck was the mistake? Eh, whatever. I made a mistake, I don't know how, but I did.
All right. Well, I guess this night's gonna keep going, or I guess I don't. Yeah, I'm still. It says I'm still on break. But I guess we'll have to continue this in the next episode. So hopefully next time we'll see what uh, what exactly is going on here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can remember the pumpkin patch today. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later.